Pride weekend in Toronto is here. The Trans March officially kicking off the massive event today. More than 8,000 people taking part in the march, which sees the largest gathering of the trans community in the world. Organizers say it's time to shine a spotlight on the abuses the community is still facing. The Trans March in Toronto is the biggest trans march in the world. This is trans rights. This is this is not a parade. It's a march. It's a it's a protest. This is us fighting for our rights to live. I mean, this is trying to get us out there and trying to show people what we're about. It's great that people are speaking out about some of the horrible things that are happening to us. And um, I think it's a really, really important event. It is a persecuted identity. It is an identity that often suffers the worst physical and mental violence. It is time we put a spotlight on what happens to people who identify as trans. Trans rights, human rights! Trans rights, human rights! It's fantastic to see because I didn't see any of it really growing up. And to know that there's other people out there like you or that uh, really embrace who you are uh, is really important to me and it's really special, especially for younger people, older people here that may have just come out or are thinking about coming out, questioning. It's really important to know you're supported. Is there anything like this in Philadelphia? Uh, we have our neighborhood, but it's, uh, it's nothing like this. <laughs> I mean, this is probably like 50 times bigger. Really? It's pretty insane. There is no way that anybody deserves the kind of vitriolic abuse this community suffers simply for identifying as trans. So do you think things are getting better here in Toronto specifically or worse? Um, I don't think things are getting better. I do think that they're getting worse. And that's the kind of um, fallacy of the, of the world we live in today. Now, there will be multiple road closures in the city all weekend, beginning tomorrow morning for the annual Pride and Remembrance Run, the Dyke March at 2 p.m., and, of course, the massive parade that begins at 2 p.m. on Sunday, but we'll see road closures beginning early in the morning. For a full list, you can head to our website, citynews.ca.